this uh, SmackDown here, especially this this Bloodline segment, this may have just been a show without like a great crowd, but uh, they came out here. Sammy, the Uso, Solo Sokoa. They had the War Games video package, and they did a promo, and everybody was on the same page. And man, the fans were not. I mean, there were a couple of Sammy Uso chants and that sort of thing, and but in general, it was like they were just kind of sitting there watching it. And I don't know if it was just the crowd for one day. You know, sometimes you just have a crowd that's not a great crowd. Or if, you know, the fun of this was the dynamic that they had, where now that they're all on the same page, you miss that dynamic. Yeah. And we I, need I, to move I, I, on to whatever's next. I, they they were pretty hot for um, Sami Zayn, um, you know, um, they they were chanting Sammy Uso at him and everything. I didn't really notice that that the thing that I noticed was was cold was um, I mean Sheamus wrestled Sammy Zayn and it was kind of slow, um, especially for a Sammy Zayn match and kind of cold. But it was like the same thing that happens on Raw. They go fifteen minutes and you don't you know like I mean they're the fifteen minute mark and. You know, I mean, everything, the moves are all fine and everything, but no one's making any noise. And then all of a sudden, you know, they do a near fall, and then it's, this is awesome, this is awesome. And the last three minutes, you know, people were into it. So, you know, it's like that's just a WWE crowd. They do it all the time. So I just figured, you know, you watch it and you just go, man, they're not making any noise. But then all of a sudden, you know, they figure, once they figure out, I think that the match is coming to a conclusion. When people start doing the near falls, they're into it. They're just sitting there until they get there. So that's what happened there. But, um, you know, I mean, again, like I see that probably in three or four matches every Monday. So it's not unusual. Well, they did have a good match. And uh, Jay helped Sammy pin Sheamus with a sunset yeah, flip. He's, Jay super kicked him and Sammy did the yeah the sunset flip. And then later they did have a segment where Jimmy and Jay are backstage. And Jimmy says, man, you going to talk to old Sammy about lying to your face? And. Jay says, well, I talked to Roman, and he said he looked in his eyes, and everything was cool. So I guess it's all cool. Plus, yeah. we won in war games, and they celebrate, and they're all happy. So they're, they're, they're building they're up. They're um, taking their time. Yeah, they're building, up, uh, they're building up Usos defending against uh, Sheamus and Drew McIntyre also. Yes. We had uh, Santos Escobar vows to win the World Cup. We had a Kofi Kingston promo. He's entering the Royal Rumble this year. Hopefully he doesn't fall down doing a spot like he did last time. And then Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser come up, and they're bullying him, and Kofi says, well, you know, my partner... Well, Co well, well Co Kofi talked about how um, he thought that uh, Ricochet would probably beat Santos Escobar, but he thought that either of them could beat Gunther, and that's where those guys showed up, and well, I guess they, they were bullied like, kind of him listening. And he said, Xavier's not here, but you know what? I'll challenge either one of you tonight. And then Gunther shows up, and Kofi looks like, well, shit. I wasn't expecting that guy. But he accepted the match, which he was killed in later. We had a weird Bray Wyatt promo where he said, I, I did not hurt L.A. Knight. It was not me. That's what he claimed. It was not me. And he yes. said if he had attacked him, we would all know because there would be no more L.A. night. Yeah. It's interesting because there was so much interest in Bray Wyatt, and then he came. And that's the worst thing that ever happened is he showed up. Once he showed up, it's just like, I think part of it is that they put him in there with L.A. night. Well, you know, your first feud is uh, Bray Wyatt against L.A. Knight is probably... And the segment that they did where, you know, L.A. slapped him and then he slapped him again. And I thought they were both great in that segment, but it didn't make me want to see the match. It's not like I, I you know... Well, nothing's going to make you want to see an L.A. Knight and Bray Wyatt. Nothing's going to make you want to see an L.A. Knight match. I, I mean, if think. it were Uncle Howdy, maybe. Uh, not L.A. Knight. About it. But, yeah, I mean, it's it's like... Bray Wyatt was the hottest thing in wrestling, and then uh, there he is, and he's around, and he's on TV, and it's uh, he's just—I mean, it's—he's just there. He's just a guy on TV. They, I—I uh, I think they really don't want to put him in the ring and have him wrestle on television. I think that's very clear. Um, so, you know, I guess I don't know if we're going to wait till the Rumble for his first match. I don't know if they can hold it off that long, but um, we'll see. 
Well, apparently uh, anything involving women was uh, edited off the show because I didn't see Shayna Baszler and Emma either. Hmm. Did you see uh, the vignette with um, no. Selena Vega and her, new, and her new hair? Oh, I saw that, but I didn't yeah. see the Lacey vignette where she's being repackaged for oh, the 85th Lacey fucking Evans, time. Lacey Evans. I, I, now, now, you want to talk about bad booking or whatever you want to call it. Lacey Evans, they spent months building her up as a Marine and, and um, as a survivor and then only to turn her heel and then for her to disappear. And now she's coming back and she's a Marine and she's a baby face after so all of that. So we're literally right back to where... So when we're, they had the chance to do this, we're right when back they to had the chance after she told her real life story and they yes. fucked it up by turning her heel... Now they've realized it was stupid, and they're literally going back to what they did the, the, the last time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I was thinking about this because of the, the MJF thing, and, and uh, you know, where where we'll, we'll see if it's... A, I mean, I think that they made a mistake in, in uh, you know, in, in not going with him as a baby face, uh, especially right now. But if next week, let's say Wednesday on the show... By the way, that they're you know they're they're doing some stuff on on the Wednesday show with him. But if Wednesday on the show, they go, you know what? Let's turn him babyface. That would be even worse. I don't think you can. You just I just don't think you can turn him for the next six months. Now, I get, granted, with Lacey Evans, it really doesn't matter because people didn't care one way or the other. But I just think it's so ridiculous that you you know turn her back. Um, you know. Right back with the same thing that, you know, I don't know. Just. I mean, to be fair, I do, if I recall the timeline, it was Vince's stupid idea to have her go heel after all those vignettes, right? Yeah, but but they brought her back. They brought her back after Vince. They brought her back, but they didn't do anything with her. Yeah, but they brought her back, and then they just dropped her, and now they're trying to bring her back as a baby face, you know? So, anyway, she was doing pull ups, and uh, she went back. She's going back to her Marine training, and. And, uh, you know, I guess she's going to be, yeah, she's going to be a baby face again. We well, had, not again uh, because because she never really was. No. We had Gunther and Kofi Kingston. They got 12 minutes, and uh, everybody was at ringside. So Braun Strowman came out, and he beat up all of Imperium and chased him to the back, which left us with a one-on-one -on -one match. And the last few minutes were really good. I mean, we had near falls by both guys. We had Kofi King kicking out of the big power bomb, which Gunther's pinned many people with. Kingston fought back again, and uh, Gunther hit him with his last symphony, beat him. You know, for a match where you knew that Kofi was going to lose, I mean, they really did everything they could to convince you that maybe he might get a win here. Which he did not, but I thought they did a very good job in the last well, the, few minutes. The, 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 the SOS spot was pretty decent. Um, yeah. Lots of interference. Um, to the Alex Wright thing? The Alex Wright thing? Yeah. Um, they were, um, Kofi was, Kofi came out, and I guess because they're German and Alex Wright is German, Kofi did the Alex Wright dance from when he when he was a baby face. I did face. not notice that. Yes, he was doing wow. that, and he's going and he starts talking about you guys know Alex Wright, and then he called him Alex wrong, and he's doing the the uh, Alex Wright dance. Wow, wow. and um, yeah, Kaiser tripped Kofi and set up that set up the power bomb spot. Braun Strowman made the save. He destroyed Vinci, and he threw Kaiser over the barricade. Then they were all booted out, and it was back to just the two men, and. Um, yeah, so the um, the new finisher that Gunther is using is the Last Symphony, which is kind of like a Dominator move. So, um, so the power bomb is no longer as finished, which is why Kofi kicked out of it. And um, yeah, the match was the match was fine. Um, it wasn't um, they weren't really on the same page, you know. I mean, it was like it was a, it was kind of rough in a lot of spots, but but it was fine. I thought it was really good. We had Kerry. Well, I mean, I mean, they're working together. Like you know, you could see like the punches were off. There's a lot of stuff off in that match. You know, it was not, uh, you know, the punches like the Gunther offense was for some. I mean, his chops were good, but when he was throwing a lot of the stuff, it was it was kind of awkward. Carrying Cross is going after Rey Mysterio. We had an Uncle Howdy video, and then uh, the main event. Ricochet Santos Escobar for the World Cup. Twenty-two minutes they got. 
They had a hell of a match. And uh, Joaquin and Cruz del Toro were out there, and they got they got uh, ejected, and then Zelina got ejected, so it was a one-on-one match. And once they got everybody out of there, yeah, they had a an excellent, excellent they, they, professional they had, they had, wrestling they had, match. They, they had a hell of a match. It was like one of the best matches on WWE TV in a while. And uh, just like with the Kofi match, we had a totally clean finish. Uh, Ricochet hit a uh, reverse hurricane Rana off the top. Jumping knee, super kick, another super kick. Went up top, 630, 123. It's almost like a, a Japanese finish where, you know, the the guy who won was the winner. He hit a series of moves. Well, they, there they, was no counter. It was no. Well, they, they needed to do that. I mean, if, they, if you're building up a guy for a championship match, he should win. Well, of course he should. But this is WWE, and they do not. They do not always do that, especially no, with Ricochet. Well, they did here. But he I hit mean, a series of moves. He, he won. He's the he, winner of this World Cup. He, then, won, the, he, won, he won the thing. He, uh, he looked really good. He worked, he worked great. Um, Escobar was a good opponent. I mean, you know, they, they worked with, with each other in Lucha Underground, so they, it's not like that this is the first time for these guys or anything like that. And, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty wild. We got Gunther out there. They had a big stare down to end the show, so... Uh, I don't think this Ricochet is going to win the title, but hey, who knows? You never know. They may be yeah. wanting to put the rocket on this guy. Because Vince yeah. sure didn't want to. But he yeah, was well, pushed hard in NXT, so Hunter must like the guy. Yeah, well, the guy's great. And, uh, you know, I mean, they 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 should have a great match. So, you know, I mean, that their style, you know, would work together well. So they should do they should do well. The WWE legendary joke joke book. book. Why do WWE superstars fingers hurt? (laughs) (laughs) Why were Gene Erkerlund's pants always so angry? (laughs) Erkerlund? Where does Beth Phoenix shop online? Amazon? The Glamazon! Yep. No. No. No, (laughs) No, that is the answer. Glamazon. That's what I said. <laughs> what? You said Glamazon. No, I said oh. Glamazon. Oh, there should be a Glamazon. <laughs> yeah, Glamazon, actually. You get, like, puppy you get pictures. it to you real slow. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.